Hi friends, I am Shravana Lakshmi Pisupati and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So in today's video, we will see how to check a list of columns present in the data frame or not in PySpark. When you are working in the real time world, right, in the data frame, there will be a lot of I mean, hundreds of columns will be present, but you need only four to five columns and you, there may be a scenario where you need to check for only for four to five columns, whether those columns are present in the data frame or not, right? So in such case, we will see how to do. So I have opened a Jupyter notebook. I have uh, created a simple cluster and I have opened a notebook and this is the data frame. So I just uh, did this file upload and after uploading you, you can get this statement from the Jupyter. So now we will see what data is present in this data frame. I am using shift enter for running this command and if you can see here it has four columns order ID, order date, product ID and order status. So this is a simple data frame so we can check whether any any of the list of uh, uh, rows are present list of columns present in this or not but sometimes you may need to check in uh, for, for one or two uh, columns in a very huge data frame so now we will see how to compare whether the columns these columns are present based on the input that we are going to send which is the list so now let's create a list there is a list one let's say and i am saying that i need order id and or uh, product id we will take product id anything you can take okay product id and when i do shift enter it will create a list then now here we are we have this list of items and we need to check whether this list of columns are present in the data frame or not. For that what we will do is first we need to read the columns. So df columns equal to df dot there is a function called df columns. And now let's say if these are present or not means it, it will be if and else if I if you uh, I I need to cap we can actually write it in a function and we can capture the return as well because now whatever we are using here right that function which is all returns a boolean so you can capture the boolean here just for the say, example I am taking in a if condition and I'm I will print some statements okay but this is how we will use the all command for uh, verifying the uh, I mean uh, uh, adding uh, the conditions for returning the boolean result so here for i in df underscore calls for i in list 1 which means it will return true if it is true print true else print false now let me execute this f1 here you can see right it is df1 and second Okay, so it is returning true. That is because order ID and product ID are present in the data frame. So I'll just take the order here. I'm recreating the list. And here it is returning false. I mean it is printing false here. Okay, so now let's say it is in capital. Okay, even though it is capital for, for the job, it might be different for us, this order ID and this order ID is same, right? So in that case, we have to convert this to lower case and then verify it. So for this, I am creating one lower list one equal to again for I in list one and what we have to do is I dot lower. Okay, so now pass this here 
now execute it for i in list 1 we have checked okay, okay so now you can see right it is true um so and uh, here also let's say id something only partial string is uh, ca in capital letter and even then it will return true here got it so let's remove this and just put product it should return false you can see that it is false and uh, let's say there is some spaces here that time what you have to do is let's see if it works and it is saying that it is false let's add the and now let's run this and it is returning true so if there is extra spaces you can use the strip for again for the right side strip if you wanted to particularly mention there are there is a function called r strip for left side stripping uh, the spaces you can use the l strip for any spaces uh, from any sp side then you can use the strip function here and then you have to lower this lower is too lower so for if you wanted to convert that to upper then you can use upper the similar way so this is how we can check whether the list of uh, values are present in the data frame functions or not and if you wanted to check for any values not for the headers then always you can use the contains or double equals equals such kind of operations you can use for the data but for the uh, headers for the column headers and if you wanted to check for any particular list then you can use this all and this one this returns uh, this one okay boolean value so you can directly say if you have if you are writing this in a function you can just say return all these things also in the return itself you can mention this one or you can return just true or something like that you can do but this is how we will check whether the given column names are present in the data frame or not hope uh, this is useful to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you